Welcome back to uh, another episode of On Shape with uh, Mr. Keller. Uh, we're going to be finishing up making the remaining three parts for uh, PLTW's efficient model creation uh, assignment. So you notice we've got part one here. So we're going to make part two, and we're going to create part studio here. Go to part two. And <coughs> if you'll notice, part two is made in millimeters. So we've got to change our workspace units. So go up here to the document menu, workspace units, and change that to millimeters. OK, so uh, one way to make this, uh, and if we want to keep it to a minimum of extrusions, that is two, uh, we can think of looking at from the front here and outline this front shape here and then extrude that back and then we'll draw this rectangular uh, opening on the right face of our part and then extrude that all the way through okay so I'm going to start my part in the lower left corner at the origin here it's always good to have your part connected to the origin so I'm going to start a sketch on the front plane press N to switch to a flat view Start it here, and that should go up 40 millimeters. Okay, this should go across 10. Okay, this should, oops. That should be 10. Okay, let's get our part. And then this should come down 15. Okay, and then this, we're not, it's not labeled on the directions, but we know the other parts on the top are 10 and 25, and the overall width of our part is 60, so we can type in 60 minus 10 minus 25, and it knows how long to make that. And then this goes back up the same distance and across 25, and then down and back okay and there's our part or the front of it so let's finish that go to an isometric view and we're going to extrude that and the depth of this part should be if we check here yeah that's 30 so we want it to be 30 okay all right now we're going to do a sketch over here on the right face. So I'm going to click on sketch and then click on the right face. Not the right plane, but the right face. Okay. And I'm going to look straight at that. And I'm going to get another rectangle here. This should be 15 by 10. And then it should be 3 from the left. So I'm going to get the dimension tool, which when you have your sketch window, all these constraints, which we'll get into in the next exercise, geometric constraints, kind of push the dimension button over here. So we know from the left side to the left edge of the part, that should be 3 millimeters. And then from the bottom, it should be five millimeters and I'll finish my sketch okay and extrude I'm using a keyboard shortcut shift E and I want this here now normally when you click on things it wants to select the add option we don't want it to add we want it to remove okay so it's going to remove up to a depth of 25 millimeters. Now we could drag this arrow and drag it until you know it sticks out of the part, but that's kind of sloppy. Um, we do know the overall width of the part is 60, so we could change the depth to 60. But say we want to change the width of one of these other parts of our sketch one, then this extrude would not go all the way through. So a way to make it just go through the whole thing is to say through all or if you want it to stop at a certain face of the part 
you can select up to face. And now it's saying, well, which face do you want to stop at? We could say, we'll stop at this face, but that wouldn't be all the way through. We want it to stop at this side of the part. And notice now it goes all the way through. Okay, So there we go. And if you check uh, the mass properties of part one, it'll say the correct volume, 51,750. All right. Now we want to make part three. So we're going to add a new part, part studio there. And we do want to change the uh, workspace units back to inches. Okay. Now, there are a couple ways to build this. Um, I like to start building this back part and then build the bottom and you're done in two extrusions. Okay, so I'm going to make the back here. Okay, so sketch and I'm going to choose the front plane here. And look at this. And I'm going to get this going here. Now this goes up uh, if I'm not mistaken 2.5. Yep. 2.5 inches. And then this goes over 0.5. Uh, I believe it goes down 0.5. Yep. And then across 1.5. And then the same thing up. We can make sure it snaps to that. And then down. And then back across. Okay. And if you want, you can move those numbers so that it's a little bit more visible. Okay. And then we want this to extrude. This is one inch and that's the default so we're good there okay so now i'm gonna draw the bottom part but i want to draw it from the bottom looking up so how to do that mr keller well what you can do is look underneath your part here and start a sketch right there on that bottom just click on the bottom notice it says that face press n to look straight at it Okay, and now I'm going to draw this, but it's going sideways. So I'm going to start here to make sure it's attached to my part. And I know on the drawing, the whole thing is 3.5. But this part sticking out, it should be short this distance here, which is 1. So what I can do is type in 3.5 minus. And now I can finish drawing the rest. This should be 1. This goes down 1.5. This is 0.5. And we'll fix that later. And this connect it there. But it's not a closed shape yet. I need to connect it back here. There we go. OK, and then this distance, I've got it wrong was 0.5 there we go okay so now I've got that and now I need to extrude that up but it wants to go down and wants to add a part to well I don't want it to go down I want it to go up it still wants to make a new part so instead of selecting new up here and extrude I'm going to select add and then the depth should be 1. So now it knows to add that on there. And if we check the mass properties, it should be 11 cubic inches. OK, now part 3. I'm going to create new part studio. Now, there's a couple ways to build this. I've seen people um, draw this bottom part and then draw this top part here. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the whole thing and then I'm going to cut out this square using the remove option just so you guys can kind of see how that remove option works again okay so I'm going to start on the right side I'm going to start a sketch on the right side okay and this here goes across one this goes up 0.5 and that should be to the midpoint which is 0.5 then up 0.5 Okay. All right. But then how much further to go? Well, we know it goes all the way up from here, 1.5. Okay. And then across 1.5 and down. So we're going to get a line from here that goes up 1.5 straight up. This should go across 1.5, then down 1, and then over, and then down. Okay. All right. So there is my shape. I want to extrude that. And the total distance should be 4.5. Okay. All right. And now I'm going to scoop out this portion right here, however much it should be. And it looks like, well, this much here is 3. So whatever this width here should be 4.5 minus 3. And then, of course, uh, the height is 1.5. So let's remember that, 4.5 minus 3 for the width. So I'm going to start a sketch right on here. And I'm going to draw a little rectangle right from here. So I said the width should be 4.5 minus 3. And then that should be, what do we say it was? 1.5. OK. Now, I want to extrude and remove. So I'm going to extrude this part but I want to remove and I want it to go all the way up to the end up to next there we go so now it removes everything until it stops the next and boom and if we check our um, mass properties it should be 8.625 cubic inches which it is so we are good to go